Hello everyone. Welcome to InfoSec Train. My name is Bharat and today we will be discussing about threat intelligence versus threat hunting. So in order to understand threat intelligence versus threat under threat hunting, let us understand what is threats. So threats in a layman's language, we can define threat as anything which does have potential to damage to the organization is known as threats. So any person, any APT group, any threat actor or anyone who possesses the risk or anyone who does have the capability to damage our organization is known as threats. So you might know there are multiple various different types of threat actors. So threat actors are those who are basically possessing the threats in different different ways. Just for some examples, we do have script kiddies, we do have hacktivists, we do have organized criminals, cyber terrorists. All these are example of cyber threats, right? So next, since we do have now understanding about threats, let us understand about threat intelligence. So threat intelligence, as discussed, threats, those are potential to damage. So threat intelligence would be the method of collecting actionable data against those threats, which can further be analyzed by our automated security solutions like our SIM solutions, our endpoint security solutions, which can further analyze that particular data and can proactively monitor those threats coming towards the organization. So that is threat intelligence. Threat intelligence basically is of mainly two types. That is in form of IOCs, which stands for indicators of compromise. And few of the journal forms of IOCs are IPs, URLs, domain, hashes. And then these threat intelligence can be in form of TTPs also. That is your tactics, techniques, and procedures. So TTPs are basically moreover known as behavioral threat intelligence, which carries out the behavior of the attackers, how they are propagating, how they are entering, how they are compromising, how they are exfiltrating. So that is moreover the behavior of the attackers. And if I do talk about IOCs, these are moreover the reputational data of the attackers. So that is guys basically our threat intelligence. Now let us have an understanding of threat hunting. So we can understand the difference between threat intel and threat hunting. So threat hunting team, if we do talk about threat hunting, that is basically something which will be starting or beginning when where threat intelligence ends. That means once we have collected that intelligence, which we discussed in last slide, threat hunting is something which will be coming right after that, right? So using of that intelligence, which we have collected, we will be taking that intelligence and we will be doing a thorough, re thorough search of our entire system and networks to find out those malicious actors. Just for an example, let's say we need to find out whether or not there is any malicious IP address or malicious file hash in our system or not, we can do a thorough system wide search for that particular malicious file or malicious actor, right? So it is moreover focused and iterative approach used to detect and remove the threats which might have bypassed our traditional security tools, right? So if we have to basically summarize the difference between threat hunting and threat intelligence, threat hunting will be something where we are collecting the data about the attackers in terms of IOCs and in terms of TTPs. But when we do talk about threat hunting, threat hunting will be something which will be a next step of threat intelligence, 
in threat hunting we will be looking upon in our systems in our infrastructure in our network in order to find or detect malicious threats which can be inside our system having a maintained and a persistent connection right so we do have multiple different methods to do so that we might be covering in our next upcoming class so that's all for today guys that was a quick overview for threat hunting versus threat intelligence thank you everyone